Welcome to a lesson on using intercepts to graph a linear equation in two variables. If we take a look at the graph of the blue line here, the point where the line crosses the vertical or y-axis is called a vertical or y-intercept. Notice how this line has a vertical or y-intercept of zero comma negative two. The point where the line crosses the horizontal or x-axis is called the horizontal or x-intercept, which would be this point here, four comma zero. So again, the vertical intercept or y-intercept is the point at which the graph crosses the vertical axis. If we take a look at the graph here on the left, notice how I've plotted several points on the vertical axis, and we'll notice a pattern. Notice that the x value or input for every point on the vertical axis is always zero, which means the input value or x value of the vertical intercept is always zero, which means the coordinates of the vertical intercept will always be in the form where the first coordinate will always be zero and the second coordinate would be the output, which would be y, where y is some constant. Which means to determine the vertical intercept, the process is always the same. We set x equal to zero and solve for y. Next, the horizontal intercept or x-intercept is the point which the graph crosses the horizontal axis. So again, looking at the graph here on the left, I plotted several points on the horizontal axis. And what we'll notice here is that for every ordered pair, the second coordinate, or the output, is always zero. So every point on the horizontal axis will have a y-coordinate of zero, which means the output value or y-value of the horizontal intercept is always zero, and therefore the coordinates of the horizontal intercept will always be in the form where if the output is zero, the second coordinate would be zero, and the first coordinate would be the input, which would be some x value. And therefore to determine the horizontal intercept, the process is always the same. In this case we set y equal to zero and solve for x. So this may seem fairly involved, but really it's a matter of completing a special table of values, where if we set up our table of values and set x equal to zero here, and then find y, we're determining the vertical or y-intercept, and then for the next row, if we set y equal to zero and solve for x, we're determining the horizontal or x-intercept. So by completing a table of values that looks like this, we're finding both the vertical intercept and the horizontal intercept. Let's look at some examples. Here we're asked to determine the vertical and horizontal intercepts for y equals three x minus two, and it doesn't ask, but we'll also graph the linear equation once we find the intercepts. So to find the vertical intercept, we set x equal to zero and find the value of y. If we want to find the horizontal intercept, we set y equal to zero and determine the value of x. So let's find the vertical intercept first. So again, we'll set x equal to zero, so we'd have y equals three times zero minus two. So we'd have y equals zero minus two, or y equals negative two. Since the vertical intercept is a point, it's important to give it as an ordered pair, where the first coordinate would be zero, the second coordinate would be negative two. So putting our table of values, again, we know when the input is zero or when x is zero, the output or y is negative two, giving us our vertical intercept. And now to find the horizontal intercept, we know we set y equal to zero and solve for x. So if we set y equal to zero, we'd have zero equals three x minus two. Adding two to both sides, we have two equals three x. Dividing both sides by three, we have x equals two thirds. Again, the horizontal intercept is a point where for the ordered pair, the x value or input value is two thirds and the output or y we know is zero. Let's go ahead and complete our table here. X is two thirds and therefore the point would be two thirds comma zero. Let's go ahead and plot these two points and graph our line. So zero, negative two would be here, our vertical intercept, and two thirds comma zero is our horizontal intercept, which would be approximately here. So using the intercepts, this would be the graph of our linear equation. Let's look at a second example. 
We want to determine the vertical and horizontal intercepts of 4x minus 2y equals 10. So once again, that means we want to complete a table of values where if we set x equal to zero, we determine the vertical intercept, and if we set y equal to zero, we determine the horizontal intercept. So we'll find the vertical intercept first. So we set x equal to zero, so we would have four times zero minus two y equals 10. Well, four times zero is zero, so we have negative two y equals 10. Dividing both sides by negative two, we have y equals negative five. So the ordered pair would be zero comma negative five. Let's put this information in our table. We know y is negative five, and therefore the vertical intercept is zero comma negative five. And now we'll find the horizontal intercept. We find this by setting y equal to zero. So we'd have the equation four x minus two times zero equals 10. Well, two times zero is zero. So we have four x equals 10, dividing both sides by four. We have x equals 10 fourths, which simplifies to five halves, and five divided by two is equal to 2.5. So the horizontal intercept is the point where the x-coordinate is 2.5 and the y-coordinate is zero. Completing our table, we now know x is equal to 2.5 when y equals to zero, giving us our horizontal intercept. Let's go ahead and graph our line. So the vertical intercept is the point zero comma negative five, which is here. And the horizontal intercept is the point 2.5 comma zero, which would be here. This would be the graph of our linear equation. I hope you found this helpful.